day 23, I believe we're on now. We are taking it down to a split squat, okay? So just again, check the setup. So we've got one foot in front, one foot behind, feet both parallel. It's an idea, if you want to hold the wall, that's absolutely fine. So if you want to be next to a wall so you've got a bit more control there, that's fine. One foot in front of the other. We are going to raise the back heel. So we want this split squat to go straight down. So we don't want to be pushing over the front knee. We want to be going down so the front knee stays in line with the toe and coming all the way back up. So we engage the core. Let's go for 15, 15 on each leg. Engage core, engage pelvic floor, arms out if you need to or down by your side, or you can hold them in for whatever's comfortable. And we go down on the exhale, so we go down. Here's eight. Seven more. One, two, three, four, five, two more, six, and seven. Oh, that's 15. Let's change legs. Let's go again. On the opposite leg. So again, get your stance right. So you've got one foot in front of the other. Both feet facing forward. Okay, so again, arms wherever you feel comfortable. Take an inhale, exhale, engage core, engage pelvic floor, raise the back heel. Remember, don't push that knee over the toe. Take it down and up rather than forward and back. Here we go.